friends myself trivian dr kiran yadav uh, in this session uh, i will give a brief introduction about what is quantum mechanics so first let us see that uh, what are the basic principles on which quantum mechanics is based or like how uh, the quantum mechanics view the problems around so in quantum mechanics all the matter particles has wave like properties this is also called as particle wave duality therefore a particle according to quantum mechanics can behave as a wave as well as and as a particle particle waves are described in a probabilistic manner in quantum mechanics we cannot exactly specify the position of a particle or a wave we can only define the probability of finding the particle waves in a region so electron does not fuzz around the nucleus nucleus it has a probability distribution describing where it might be found okay and this this reason allows for seemingly impossible quantum tunneling effect and about which you will study in later in the upcoming sessions some properties come in dual packages can't know both simultaneously to arbitrary precision uh, the third most important formulation on which quantum mechanics is based is heisenberg uncertainty principle according to which uh, there are certain properties which can't be determined simultaneously uh, these these are like position and momentum okay energy and time so we cannot determine the position and momentum of a particle simultaneously if we know the position then Uh, then there will be uh, some error or inaccuracy in determining the momentum of the particle and if we know the value of exact value of the momentum then there will not be an accuracy in the position of the particle similarly energy and time can't be determined for a particle simultaneously and the last point is the act of measurement fundamentally alters the system this is called entanglement so this will be discussed in later sections also so you can uh, easily understand this understand this in coming session so basically there are three basic formulations on which quantum mechanics is based first is wave particle duality second is uh, particle waves are described in a probabilistic manner uh, we can't specify the exact position or location of a particle wave third property is the heisenberg uncertainty principle so this is the quantum mechanical point of view so why this study of quantum mechanics arose or what led to the study of quantum mechanics so this problem arised why was a wet light incapable of knocking electrons out of certain materials no matter how bright so as we know in photoelectric effect when light is incident on the surface of material then electrons are emitted from the material however uh when red light was incident on uh, a material or a photoelectric material then there was no ejection of electron from that material yet blue light could readily do so even at modest intensities this was called the photoelectric effect uh, uh it was not possible to uh, exactly explain the photoelectric effect according using the quantum mechanics so this effect was explained considering the formulations of quantum mechanics only classical mechanics could not explain this effect einstein explained this effect in terms of photons and won nobel prize 
ओके वेयर द एनर्जी ऑफ ईच फोटोन इज गिवन बाय एच न्यू Without quantum mechanics, we could never have designed and built semiconductor devices, computers, cell phones, etc., lasers, CD, DVD players, barcode scanners, surgical applications, MRI, nuclear reactors, atomic bombs. Physicists did not embrace quantum mechanics because it was generally novel or feared. So, like. Uh, if someone explains you classical mechanics it can be easily understood by the common sense like you will say yes such things happen but if someone will say uh, the or someone will talk about the quantum mechanics then the concepts that are there in quantum mechanics are not that easy to be captured by a normal mind like you will have to think differently so this is the famous double slit experiment where the wave nature of light is considered here uh, the double slit experiment is shown and the nature of light is considered as particle and wave both and the results for both the cases are shown if the particle is or the i can say if the light is considered as a particle then the particle will cross through one of the slits and there will be a dot or like there will be a center dot produced as a result in case the light is considered as a particle on the other hand if the light is considered as of wave nature then the waves will cross both the slits and there will be like pattern there will be a certain pattern obtained as a result where there will be like bright and dark fringes the pattern that is obtained on the screen is an interference pattern characteristic of waves so light is a wave not particle so when this experiment was performed on real life then this pattern was obtained which suggested that light is a wave but repeat the experiment one photon at a time over time the photons only land on interference peaks not in the troughs so let's discuss about the classical mechanics then we will see how the transition from classical mechanics to quantum mechanics took place classical mechanics is the mechanics of everyday objects like tables and chairs uh, the origin of classical mechanics was laid by newton he gave three basic laws first law is an object in motion tends to stay in motion force equal mass time acceleration was the second law and the third law was for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction these three basic laws led to the foundation of classical mechanics uh, these newton's laws were given in a uh, like a book which newton published whose name was newton's philosophia mathematica which was published in 1687 then the meiser uh, finding in in the field of classic mecha- classical mechanics came in 1788 where lagrange's mechanics came into picture then in 1834 hamilton gave some other methods to describe the equations of motion then in 1864 maxwell gave the four equations and then 1900 boltzmann entropy equation was discovered so these were the basic major breakthroughs in the field of classical mechanics however there were several experiments at the beginning of the 20th century which needed an explanation okay so like the ultraviolet catastrophe the stern gerlach experiment in the hydrogen spectra these were some of the experiment 
whose explanation according to classical mechanics were not sufficient and uh, newton tried to explain for these phenomena and uh, his explanation were quite insufficient so the classical physics is basically described by newton's laws of motion and it is successful for explaining the motions of objects and planets so this the equation written here is a famous equation of classical mechanics in the end of 19th century experimental evidences accumulated showing that classical mechanics failed when applied to very small particles so to explain the behavior of very small particles the quantum mechanics came into picture so we will see in next session that how quantum mechanics explain the behavior of small particles and what were the uh, what were the like experiments which classical mechanics could not explain and the quantum mechanics explained easily so we will continue the discussion in next session thank you